y'all my loves how y'all all doing today hope you're all having a great day and you know what i always say honey if you're not having a great day well you better get it together okay because today we are reviewing one of the more recent okay world creations in the sims 3 community saffron bay by my sims reality my good sis killing it with the content so if you guys are interested in downloading this world, please do not hesitate to check the description box down below to go ahead and uh, look at all the nitty gritty and everything like that so you can see kind of what's going on. So first things first, let's start out with this map view. Okay, so just right off the bat, I was really, really in love with this map view. I think it is so, so nice. And it's also very like medium size, not too large. So if you don't have an amazing computer or if you really can't download big worlds like Setra or, you know, anything like Bureausburg, something like that, then this is the world for you. This would be a great world like Winchester Farming where it's a little bit smaller. You can kind of do your own Thing. So if you were looking for a little bit of a smaller world as somebody who kind of experiences a little bit more lag, this is a perfect world. I'm really excited. Okay, we're, we're getting it. So this world has so many different public lots. Like already, it's a Sims 3. Like, do we expect any less? But it also has two festival lots. Two. I think it's the first world I've seen that has two festival lots, actually. This is Saffron Times Square, and this one is Saffron Central Park. So they're both considered festival so we have a lot of stuff to look at but first things first let's go ahead and go and take a look at my sims here because i want to show you guys the apartment that i got now i don't know the name of this complex let me actually look really quick because i want you guys to get the full experience so let's just take a quick look so this is 345 central street and it is about 10,000 simoleons unfurnished and then about 18 furnished with everything so i went ahead and just had my sims move into this home because i really wanted to see what the apartments look like i feel like i don't really use apartments that often in the sims 3 and i really wanted to just check them out and see how beautiful and can we just say it's beautiful now my sims reality always shows out when it comes to furnishing like shows out just like goes extra just <laughs> beautiful so this lobby is amazing i love this little gym area over here where like if you're living here you could just kind of work out do your thing um and you don't have to really leave the house to do that and i think that's really cool there's also this kind of pretend check-in area and then a bunch of elevators it really just does kind of give me that very you know uh apartment vibe to it i just really really like it so if we go upstairs of course we do have the elevators and then this is our home this is why i love their world so much because the cohesiveness of everything just the furnishing in general most of their furnishing is very similar but it's very cohesive and that's what i love about it it's just oh it just the color scheme, everything. I live for this house, I think it's so beautiful. And the good thing about worlds that are created by this creator or this team, I don't really know if it's one person or a team, but um, is that I don't really have to like ever furnish anything because it's all so beautifully furnished in their worlds that just the building is just so, oh, oh, it's beautiful. But I really do love the bar and just everything about this home. But also, there are a couple of other things. So we're going to review, as per our usual world overview, we're going to review some of the houses. And I also want to look at some of the high-rise apartments, see what those are like. And we're also going to look at a, a lot of the public lots because there's a lot of them. There's too many. Okay, too many public lots. So this is going to be a very long video. So first things first, let's take a look at one of the apartments maybe next door to us and then we'll also take a look at the high-rise apartment that is right next to that one so we're just gonna open this really quick so we have the lobby in this apartment Ooh, i love that blue color Ooh, it is beautiful okay and then if we go upstairs see this is exactly what i'm talking about very much cohesive like the furnishing everything matches can't relate but they just do such a good job at making everything fit and mesh together this would be so beautiful if you had like two sims just you know that are roommates wanting to live in this house but it's very beautiful i love the color scheme i love the blue that was used i actually kind of wish that i would have moved into this house but i really like both but um this one's very pretty so we're gonna go ahead and close this place. and on to the high-rise building next door now this one i can already tell is gonna have a blue color scheme as well and if we go upstairs, oh, this is so cute. This is a little one bedroom and wow, I really like this a lot. Actually really, really like this. I have never even thought about using this wallpaper, but this is really nice. Ooh, I just really love, they always show out with the furnishing. Like, can we just talk about it? Okay, <laughs> they always show out. Let's go ahead and close this 
to I want to see what the houses look like because those are going to be interesting. I know the apartments are beautiful. They're all very beautifully furnished, but I'm nosy and I want to see what Z houses are like. So we have two little houses here. This kind of reminds me of like, I'm guessing this is a ranch sort of thing. Like these are the private homes because if you drive up to here, then you've got um, three properties here. And then there's also a little blank spot so you can, you know, add a little bit of an extra house there if you want to. Now these houses really remind me of the world that I use in Generations. I don't remember what world that was. It may have been Salmon Woods, but it reminds me so much of that. The house style, the furnishing, everything. So this is very much giving me Salmon Wood vibes if that's the right world I'm thinking of, but it's just so beautiful. Look at this house. There's a little garden in the back. Oh my God, that's so cute. We have like pumpkins and stuff and you can harvest. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, so this is also the kids room upstairs. And then if you go down, ooh, ooh, can we talk about this right here? Can we talk about this right here? This is so nice. Okay, and then if we, oh, there's also a downstairs girl. Why did they do this to me? Yes, this furnishing very much reminds me of the world that I used in Generations. I forgot what world, it's gonna bother me so bad. I'm pretty sure it's Salmon Woods, I don't know. But just the furnishing style, the wood, I can tell this creator really likes this wood and I love it too, but it looks amazing. Now, if we go downstairs, cause there's obviously a basement, and the greatest thing is that most homes, I feel like, don't have basements. Is that just me? But I really don't ever utilize basements in The Sims 3, but I think it's really, really cool that they added that in because you can make this a gym, you can make it an extra room, really whatever you wanna do with it. And it's also really nice just to kind of have that little garden area back here. And you could also maybe add like a small pool or just something to kind of make your house oof a little bit. And then over here, we also have a couple of, I'm guessing this is like sculptures. You can make sculptures in here, which is really nice. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this because I don't know, but I really, really love this home. I especially love the inside. I just feel like they really show out with the furnishing. I feel like I'm really gonna like this home, which is right next door to the other one. I'm also kind of nervous. I wonder if this is a greenhouse. I'm so nosy. Oh, it is a greenhouse. Oh, this is so pretty. I would maybe get rid of the barrels and just like add extra plants and stuff because whenever I use the gardening skill, my um, amount of planter bowls is like a problem. So I like to have a lot of space to be able to plant stuff because the gardening skill is one of my favorite skills in The Sims 3. Other than cooking, I think those are my two favorites. Um, and so I really would like expand this garden a little bit more. I think I kind of like the outside garden a little more, even though this one is really pretty as well. And if we go to the furnishing of this one, ooh, Yes, this very this actually reminds me of the generations home, the inside, especially this section here. And if we go up a little bit, ooh, look at that. Okay, actually, I never thought about putting two beds next to each other. I actually never thought about that. Is that weird? <laughs> I feel like there's somebody in there that's done this before. I've never thought about doing that, but this is so clever, actually. Like an easier way to have your Sims share rooms, but in that point, you might as well just get a bunk bed. But still. I think it's a very cute and creative idea to kind of have a sim share a room without using bunk beds or double beds. It's kind of like a cute way to, y'all know what I mean. But uh, anyways, and then we also have the adult room here. The only thing I would say is that I would maybe change this one to the adult's room and this one, I don't know, this room's kind of small, but I guess if you're doing like a starter home or if you don't have a lot of kids, this would be a really great home for you. So I definitely recommend. And oh, I thought we actually had three houses, but I guess this is a public lot. This is actually a campground, which is so cute. Oh my gosh, y'all. I just realized that there are houses literally by the beach. Can we talk about it? Like, oh my, okay. Oh, oh, this backyard. Oh my God, <laughs> this backyard. This backyard is making me a little teary-eyed. Look at all these backyards. Look at all these backyards. Are you kidding me? This looks like Glitch City. I'm so ready. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at... Um, oh, I don't know what house to look at first. I actually really like this one. This one really caught my eye. So I think I'm going to open this one. Um, just because I really like the windows and everything. So we are... Ooh. Okay, so the great thing about this house, which is very different, is that this one actually isn't furnished on the inside. So you can really furnish it, decorate it, make it all cute however you want. And you've got three full bedrooms here. And also, same thing with, okay, so only the downstairs is furnished. I guess the bedrooms they wanted to keep, you know, kind of blank, but I really love this kitchen. Are you kidding me? The freaking tables, what? 
This world is beautiful. Okay, I've literally only seen the houses and I'm just freaking out. Let's put up these walls real quick. Ooh, okay. I'm just really loving the color scheme. Blue is my favorite color. So just anything blue makes me happy. Um, let's look at, ooh, the bathroom's pretty. And then we also have a desk area as well. And then if you go down, this house also has a basement. Oh, ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I can't even believe it. So if we go downstairs, this looks like a little bachelor pad. Oh my God, this house is probably so expensive. But we have a bachelor pad. There is a little like place you can make drinks. You can play video games. I don't really know why there's two chairs here, but I guess you can make this into like a movie room or maybe it's supposed to be a movie room. I don't know. But then we also have this over here and then there is a bed down here. I wonder why they did a bedroom down here, but then didn't put beds up here. I wonder, but... It's really, really nice. This house is beautiful. And also, you can tell that they definitely really like this thing because <laughs> there's literally a sculpture thing everywhere. But we're gonna close this real quick. And I'm just gonna check out one more of these rich people houses because that's obviously who this is for. My Sims could never because I never cheat in my game. <laughs> my Sims literally never have money. Okay, let's go ahead and open this real quick. And I actually really like this house too. And I like the windows. So that's why I wanted to see the inside of this house. And I'm glad I did because, oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. And look at the view. Like your sim could just sit and chill and look at the ocean. You've got like a little jacuzzi area back here. I'm guessing this is like the beach or whatever. So beautiful. And we have blank rooms here too. Same thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is just giving me very much rich. <laughs> very much rich okay we have um beautiful like seating area and then also the living room area and then we've got kitchen oh i like how there's literally more bar stools than there is <laughs> tables or uh chairs at the freaking table that's crazy anyways so we also have this beautiful beautiful pool oh my gosh are oh, you guys i'm freaking out okay um, I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna stop looking at houses maybe. Maybe we should just look at one more house because I really wanna see the variety. Um, but so far, I'm really liking it. Like I really like the, the houses are still very unique. Um, one thing that I look for as well when I download Worlds is like uniqueness in homes and kind of giving each home their individuality. And even though the furnishing style is still very similar, I really like the way that they kind of put it together and it just fits very perfectly. So I'm going to take a look at this house. Oh, wow. Ooh, I love this green. They are so good at picking colors. Can we just talk about that? Cause this green is beautiful and I don't really like green that much, but this is good. We also have a basement here. I think every home that we've seen so far has a basement, which is really nice. It's very different. I feel like, as I said, when I download worlds, most of the homes don't have basements. But somebody's also living here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it though because I wanna see what the house looks like. And it looks like the world also does come with townies as well. I don't know if story progression is automatically putting these in or if they actually come with townies, but um, we have this house as well. And I'm guessing this is just a starter home, but there's also a basement in this home as well, um, which is insane. I wonder if every single house in here has basements. I would really be interested to know. Oh my gosh, look at this house. I don't even need to look, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, like look, look at it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's like making me upset because like, how are you this talented? Seriously, let's go ahead and open this really quick. This is just giving me very family vibes. Like this whole world is just very much family and I love that about worlds. I love very family-based worlds because I'm a very family-based gameplay person so i feel like this world is just going to be so fun to build generations on and just have a lot of fun so we also have a nursery over here oh my god this house is so big oh my gosh okay i need to close this so i can look at the public lots or or else this video is going to be super long so let's just go ahead and, and close her and we're gonna look at oh my god there's so many options okay we have the playground there is the Times square we have a watering hole, Ooh, okay, swimming pool, there is a hotel, there's so much stuff, there's a cafe, let's kind of stick to this side and we'll kind of just work our way progressively up, so I think I'm going to pick three lots from each side just because I don't want to be sitting here for 50 years, but let's look at the park first because I feel like that's crucial and wow, wow, 
can we just talk about it? Okay, so this is a festival lot. And there's also like this little area here too where Sims can, ooh, they can play video games. Oh my God. I honestly thought this was just going to be like a bathroom, <laughs> honestly and truly, but this is really nice. It is, I guess, an eating area. And then as I said, you have like a little arcade for kids, which gives so many more things for your Sims to do. One thing I don't like is like a bland festival in The Sims 3 where there's like nothing fun. And this one just gives you chock full of like all this stuff. Look at this girl. We just got everything. I love I love it. Okay, let's go to the, mm, don't want to go to the watering hole. That doesn't really interest me. Let's see, and beaches, like we all know what a beach looks like. Let's go see the Cranky Hanks Java Hut, and then I kind of want to check out, uh, do I want to see, I think this Blue Violet Inn is in another world of theirs, so I'm not going to look at that either. I'll just look at the Artistic Touch Cafe and then the Cranky Hanks Java Hut. So here is the Java Hut. Let's go ahead. Ooh, okay. So we have, this looks like a very kid friendly spot. Cause see, we have like the TV and stuff and then the machine there. Let's see what we got downstairs. Ooh, what is this? This is a hollow web. Oh, I think it came with Into the Future. That's probably why I haven't seen it. I just recently purchased Into the Future. So yeah, anyways. That's really nice. And then we also have a little place to do homework and whatnot. And then also there is a cafe area. This just gives me very teen hangout. I feel like this would be a nice place for teens or children to just hang out after school, do their homework, get some coffee, and just kind of spend time together. This, this is one of those lots that I wish would have been added into Legacy. I might actually save this just so I can put it in Legacy because I really wanted like a teen hangout spot for all my teens in that series and I never actually made one and I think this would be a nice one. But also if we go to the Artistic Touch Cafe, there this has so many public lots. I might actually save a lot of these and just put them in different worlds. But this is the Touch Cafe, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got a little balcony area. You can kind of hang out, chill with your friends, eat some food, grill a little bit, get and sit by this uh, pit of fire, whatever you wanna do. And we also have the downstairs, ooh, I love this green color. They did a really good job and a podium. I don't know why a podium's up here. Maybe he wants to announce his speeches and all that. And then also, so this is just kind of like another Java type of chill, relaxed place. And then there's also a basement with a sculpture thing. Literally, I want to see exactly how many sculpture things are in this. <laughs> there's like one in every single lot. That would be a nightmare, but <laughs> literally so much. Okay. And then if we go up, oh, there's also a little boogie bar up here and there's a um like waterfall thing obviously but that's really nice oh this would be a nice place to take some good family photos like some good family photos and we also have the the place here this is giving me very much country and i live can we also talk about these three little houses we have on the corner right across from the stadium? I'm not actually gonna go in there just because if I go there, we're just gonna <laughs> waste more time. But y'all know that I'm an arcade fiend, okay? I have an arcade problem. I love arcades. So guess where we're going? We're gonna look at the arcade. I wanna see what it looks like. So we are definitely, oh my gosh, okay? I'm already stunned and I ain't even gone in yet. Look at this lot. Ugh, I could never. Okay, let's go down and see what this lot has to offer. It's actually closed, so I'm gonna have to cheat again and go ahead and open it so you guys can see the full effect. Um, wow. Oh, this is unique, like very unique and different. I really, oh, hmm. The color scheme is just very different. I really like this. It's like so vibrant and colorful and fun. I'm sending my Sims over here because <laughs> they're not doing anything else. So oh, actually I can't because it's closed, dang it. But this is the beautiful lot, wow. We also have a lot called the West Bay Marina, which is right next to the arcade. And I think this is a wedding spot because there is obviously like the little wedding arch here. And then there's also like a balcony area and people can sit and hang out. I think this is actually a very beautiful spot if you did wanna have your wedding because you already have the seating, you already have everything, you really don't need to organize anything, which is always nice. 
Um, and it's just, yeah, it's really chill. So let's go back a little bit and see what else. Oh my God, there's so much stuff. I don't have time to review everything I wish I did. Okay, so I wanted to look at Black Bean Coffee, but since we've already kind of seen all the coffee shops, I really want to look at one of the clubs, the lounges, things like that. So this is the Techno Wave Lounge, and I want to see what that looks like. So let's go and see what she has to offer. Oh, okay, okay. This is giving me very much like, I don't know, this would be a very good date night place because you've got the DJ booth, there's little games over here, and then you can also do karaoke. This lot is just, or this world is just insane. Okay, and if we go down even more, there is a performance stage, so your Sims can watch like Showtime performances and boo them or throw apples, whatever they want to do. And then that is it. Okay, okay, okay. That's nice. I honestly thought this was gonna be two floors, but I guess the way that it was built was misleading, which is fine. Okay, let's go to, we have the Garden of Tranquility. Literally, oh, so pretty, look at that. It's so tranquil, literally, because <laughs> it's so beautiful. All right, Um, I don't know what else to look at. There's so many good things. Okay, so I had to see what the coffee shop looked like, and I'm pretty glad that I did because this is so pretty, and it's very different from the other coffee shops that we saw before. Um, it just gives me very college, like if a sim wanted to come here and just hang out with, you know, their friends or, you know, do a little bit of homework because there is laptops available here too, we can do that. And you can also order... Um, you know, from the coffee bar, or if you wanted to, you could put a little alcohol bar over there and your Sims could drink and read books and have fun in a good old time. So I think that's really, really nice. And let's see what else there is. We have McDuffie's Ale House. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Okay. We also have the Bleeding Rose, the Diamond Lounge. Ooh. Well, first, let's check out this campground that was literally right next to stuff. And wow. You could get married right here and have a whole view of the freaking city. That would be insane for your Sims for some good quality photos. Just so many good photo spots in this world, especially this kind of reminds me of like Mariner's Reach, where it's very much you could take a lot of good photos, make a lot of good memories and stuff. Some worlds are just like that where you're like, girl, these photos are going to be so cute. And I feel like that's the same with this world. You're going to get some very, very good family photos, very good wedding memories, very good like... You know, just memories of your Sims having fun and doing fun stuff. And I feel like this is such a good world because you're never going to get bored, I feel like, because there's so many lots. Can we just talk about how many lots there are and especially how many public lots there are? <laughs> Please. All right. So we're going to go to, we also have a comic book store. There is a Tiki Palace. Ooh, let's go there. Ooh, Tiki Palace, girl. Look at that. She is beautiful. Hold up. Let's open her up. Let's see. Okay, so we have a spot where you're sim see romantic date night spots. This is giving me very much family. Like that's my point. There's so many romantic date night spots. There's so many spots that your Sims could go, like hang out your kids after school. There's just so many good spots for good storylines. I love this especially. This is beautiful, and I like how this is kind of smaller because it doesn't take away from um, the attention of this. Because honestly, this really catches my eye, and I think. It just looks so nice. So let's go back. You could also probably use this world as like a vacation spot if you have the travelers mod. But honestly, I'm like, if you're going to travel here, you might as well live here. <laughs> honestly, and really, if you're going to travel, just live here. Um, and we also have two more lounges that I want to check out because this video may be a little bit long. But here it is, beautiful as ever. This is very much vampire, like <laughs> very much vampire. And if you go down to the very first floor, it's all red and beautiful. It just very different. I love how unique all of these clubs have been. You could definitely tell the difference between each one, difference between each public law and how, you know, they're unique to each other or like unique to themselves. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but y'all get what I mean, how they're all unique and whatnot. So we're also going to open this one. None of the furnishing in the public lots have been the same so far. They've all, and that just shows you how much work was put into it. Like, girl, we are just shook. Okay. So we have this lounge here too. There's also arcade stuff and so beautiful you could go from one lounge to the other and just have a jolly grand old time so i really really like that and then i think next door i don't know what this is what is this 
What are you? Like, I think this is the museum. Yeah, it is the museum. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. See, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, there's so many spots for you to, like, just have fun. This would be such a nice date night spot and such a great place to build a legacy. I would love it. So last but not least, I wanted to check out the other big park or what could have been, or what is considered the other festival ground. And this one is very much so more like the stage performance type of thing. It just gives me very regular park vibes and not so much like the festival part of it, which is fine. Um, I feel like the other one, there was maybe more to do, but this one is also very, very pretty. And I feel like this one's also more, um, I shouldn't say clutter. That's not the right word, but there's like more pieces of furniture, I feel like, in this one, which is, I don't know. I can't, I don't know. Well, I guess this one maybe doesn't have as many festival or I guess it depends on the the season. I don't know. I'm really excited to see what these festivals look like in the winter, in the fall, in the spring, those type of things, because I get really, really excited when those things kind of come up. But anyways, you guys, I think it is time for me to go ahead and end this world review because we have reviewed and looked at so many beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lots. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this world, if you will be downloading it yourself, if you really like it, or if it's something that's not really tickling your fancy. Maybe you're not really a family-based player. If you have, you know, not the greatest computer, I would definitely recommend this world because it's not too big to where you get overwhelmed or your computer may not be able to handle it. The only reason that my game is laggy here and there is because I'm rendering videos in the background. So don't let that deter you from downloading this world. It has nothing to do with this world. It has to do with my computer. <laughs> but anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this world review. If you did, please make sure, as I said, to Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you think about this world. I love you guys so, 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 so very much. And I will see you all very, very soon with another new video. Bye, guys. A secret, yeah, I promise I keep it. Our little secret.